The known history of Gaza spans 4,000 years. Gaza was ruled, destroyed and repopulated by various dynasties, empires, and peoples. Originally a Canaanite settlement, it came under the control of the ancient Egyptians for roughly 350 years before being conquered and becoming one of the Philistines' principal cities. Gaza fell to the Israelites in about 1000 BC but became part of the Assyrian Empire around 730 BC. Alexander the Great besieged and captured the city in 332 BC. Most of the inhabitants were killed during the assault, and the city, which became a center for Hellenistic learning and philosophy, was resettled by nearby Bedouins. The area changed hands regularly between two Greek successor kingdoms, the Seleucids of Syria and the Ptolemies of Egypt, until it was besieged and taken by the Hasmoneans in 96 BCE. Gaza was rebuilt by Roman general Pompey Magnus and granted to Herod the Great 30 years later. Throughout the Roman period, Gaza maintained its prosperity, receiving grants from several different emperors. A 500-member Senate governed the city, which had a diverse population of Greeks, Romans, Jews, Egyptians, Persians and Nabataeans. Conversion to Christianity in the city was spearheaded and completed under St. Porphyrius, who destroyed its eight pagan temples between 396 and 420 CE. Gaza was conquered by the Muslim general Amr ibn al-As in 637 CE, and most Gazans adopted Islam during early Muslim rule. Thereafter, the city went through periods of prosperity and decline. The Crusaders wrested control of Gaza from the Fatimids in 1100, but were driven out by Saladin. Gaza was in Mamluk hands by the late 13th century, and became the capital of a province that stretched from the Sinai Peninsula to Caesarea. It witnessed a golden age under the Ottoman-appointed Ridwan dynasty in the 16th century. Gaza experienced destructive earthquakes in 1903 and 1914. In 1917, during World War I, British forces captured the city. Gaza grew significantly in the first half of the 20th century under mandatory rule. The population of the city swelled as a result of the Palestinian exodus during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Gaza came under Egyptian rule until it was occupied by Israel during the 1967 Six-Day War. Gaza became a center of political resistance during the First Intifada and under the Oslo Accords of 1993. It was assigned to be under the direct control of the newly established Palestinian Authority. Israel unilaterally withdrew from Gaza in 2005. By 2007, Hamas emerged both as the victor in Palestinian elections and in factional fighting with rival Futter in the city and in the wider Gaza Strip and Hass. Since being the sole governing authority, Israel subsequently blockaded the Strip and launched assaults against it in 2008, 2009, 2012 and 2014 as a response to rocket attacks. Bronze Age Settlement in the region of Gaza dates back to 3300-3000 BCE at Tel Asakan, a site located south of the present-day city, which began as an ancient Egyptian fortress built in Canaanite territory. Tel Asakan prospered as Canaanite cities began to trade agricultural goods with the Egyptians. However, when Egypt's economic interests shifted to the cedar trade with Lebanon, Gaza's role was reduced to that of a port for ships carrying goods and it declined economically. The site was virtually abandoned and remained so throughout the early Bronze Age too. Gaza enjoyed demographic and economic growth again when the local Canaanite population began to resettle Tel Asak in around 2500, but in 2250. The area experienced a total collapse of civilization and all of the cities in the Gaza region were abandoned by the 23rd century BCE. In its place emerged semi-nomadic cultures with pastoral camps made up of rustic family dwellings which continued to exist throughout the early 
Bronze Age IV, an urban centre known as Tel al Ajjul, began to arise inland along the Wadi Gaza riverbed. During the Middle Bronze Age, Tel Asakan was the southernmost locality in Canaanite territory, serving as a fort, and by 1650 BCE, while Egypt was occupied by the Canaanite Hyksos, a second city developed on the ruins of the first Tel Asakan. This city was destroyed about a century later, when the Hyksos were rooted from Egypt. Egypt settled Gaza once again and Tel al ajjul rose for the third time in the 15th century BCE. The city finally ceased to exist in the 14th century, at the end of the Bronze Age, ancient period. A city which would become present-day Gaza began to develop on the site of Tel al ajjul This city served as Egypt's administrative capital in Canaan, and was the residence of the Egyptian governor of the region, a caravan point of strategic importance from the earliest times. It was constantly involved in the wars between Egypt and Syria and the Mesopotamian powers, and appeared frequently in Egyptian and Assyrian records. Under Tuthmosis III, it is mentioned on the Syrian-Egyptian caravan route and in the Armana letters as Azati. Gaza was in Egyptian hands for 350 years, until it was settled by the Philistines, a seafaring people with cultural links to the Aegean. In the 12th century BCE, it then became a part of the Pentapolis, a league of the Philistines' five most important city-states. The Hebrew Bible mentions the Avites occupying an area that extended as far as Gaza, and that these people were dispossessed by the Kaftarites from the island of Kaftor. Some scholars speculate that the Philistines were descendants of the Kaftarites. Gaza is also mentioned in the Hebrew Bible as the place where Samson was in prison and met his death. The prophets Amos and Zephaniah are believed to have prophesied that Gaza would be deserted. According to biblical accounts, Gaza fell to Israelite rule from the reign of King David in the early 11th century BCE. When the united monarchy split in about 930 BCE, Gaza became a part of the northern kingdom of Israel. When the kingdom of Israel fell to the Assyrians under Tiglath Piles III and Sargon II of around 730 BCE, Gaza came under Assyrian rule. In the 7th century, it again came under Egyptian control, but during the Persian period it enjoyed a certain independence and flourished. In 529 BCE, Cambyses I unsuccessfully attacked Gaza and later, around 520 BCE, the Greeks established a trading post in Gaza. The first coins were minted on the Athens model around 380 BCE. Alexander the Great besieged Gaza, the last city to resist his conquest on his path to Egypt, for five months, finally capturing it 332 BCE. Led by a eunuch named Battus and defended by Arab mercenaries, Gaza withstood the siege for two months, until it was overcome by storm. The defenders, mostly local elements, fought to the death and the women and children were taken as captives. The city was resettled by neighboring Bedouins, who were sympathetic to Alexander's rule. He then organized the city into a polis or city-state, and Greek culture took root in Gaza which gained a reputation as a flourishing center of Hellenic learning and philosophy. Belonging at first to the Ptolemaic kingdom, it passed after 200 BCE to the Seleucids. In the 1st century BC and the first half of that century, it was the Mediterranean port of the Nabataeans, whose caravans arrived there from Petra or from Alath on the Red Sea. In 96 BCE, the Hasmonean king Alexander Janaeus besieged the city for a year. The inhabitants, who had hoped for help from the Nabataean king Ertes II, were killed and their city destroyed by Janaeus when Ertes did not come to their aid. Classical Antiquity Roman rule Gaza was rebuilt by Consul Aulus Gabinius after it was incorporated into the Roman Empire in 63 BCE, under the command of Pompey Magnus. Roman rule brought six centuries of relative peace and prosperity to the city, which became a busy port and locus of trade between the Middle East and Africa.
In the Acts of the Apostles, Gaza is mentioned as being on the desert route from Jerusalem to Ethiopia. The Christian gospel was explained to an Ethiopian eunuch along this road by Philip the Evangelist, and he was baptized in some nearby water. Gaza was granted to Herod the Great by Roman Emperor Augustus in 30 BC, where it formed a separate unit within his kingdom, and Cosgabar, the governor of Idumi, was in charge of the city's affairs. On the division of Herod's kingdom, it was placed under the proconsul of Syria. After Herod's death in 04 BCE, Augustus annexed it to the province of Syria. In 66 CE, Gaza was burnt down by Jews during their rebellion against the Romans. However, it remained an important city, even more so after the destruction of Jerusalem by Titus the following year. Titus passed through Gaza on his march toward to Jerusalem, and again in his return. The establishment of the Roman province of Arabia Petraea restored trade links with Petra and Isla. Throughout the Roman period, Gaza was a prosperous city and received grants and attention from several emperors. A 500-member Senate governed Gaza, and a diverse variety of Philistines, Greeks, Romans, Canaanites, Phoenicians, Jews, Egyptians, Persians and Bedouin populated the city. Gaza's mint stamped out coins adorned with the busts of gods and emperors. During his visit in 130 CE, Emperor Hadrian, who favored Gaza, personally inaugurated wrestling boxing and oratorical competitions in Gaza's new stadium, which soon became known from Alexandria to Damascus. The city was adorned with many pagan temples, the main cult being that of Manus. Other temples were dedicated to Zeus, Helios, Aphrodite, Apollo, Athena and the local deity Taj. The spread of Christianity in Gaza was initiated by Philip the Arab around 250 CE, first in the port of Mayuma, but later into the city. The religion faced obstacles as it spread through the inland population because pagan worship was strong. In 299, an unverified number of local Christians who assembled in Gaza to hear the scriptures read were seized and mutilated by the Romans. Also, its Christians were harshly repressed during the Diocletianic persecution in 303. The first bishop of Gaza was Philemon, believed to have been one of the 72 disciples, but the first cleric was Saint Silvanus who, during the persecution by Maximinianus in 310, was arrested along with about 30 other Christians and condemned to death. Byzantine rule and advent of Christianity on the breakup of the Roman Empire. Gaza became part of the Byzantine Empire as part of the Palestine, a prima province. The official recognition of Christianity by Constantine I did not increase sympathy of the religion in Gaza. Although Gaza was represented by Bishop Asclepar in the First Council of Nicaea in 325, the vast majority of its inhabitants continued to worship the native gods. As the Roman Empire was crumbling at this time, Gaza remained unaffected. At this time, the inhabitants of Mayuma converted to Christianity en masse. Constantine II decided to separate it from pagan Gaza in 331, giving Mayuma its own episcopal see. Julian reversed the process during his reign in the latter half of the 4th century. Although Mayuma had its own bishop, clergy, and diocesan territory, it shared its magistrates and administration with Gaza. Upon Julian's death, Mayuma's independence was restored and the rivalry between it and Gaza intensified. During most of the 4th century, the Christian community was small, poor, and carried no influence in the city. The church was insignificant and its members were not allowed to hold political office. However, conversion to Christianity in Gaza was spearheaded under St. Porphyrius between 396 and 420. In 402, after obtaining a decree from the emperor, he ordered all eight of the city's pagan temples destroyed and idol worship was forbidden by the Byzantine government. Paganism continued and Christians were still persecuted in the city, forcing street. Porphyrius to undertake more measures. 
As a result of his persuasion, Emperor Celia Eudocia commissioned the construction of a church atop the ruins of the Temple of Manus in 406. Persecution against Christians did not cease, but it was less harsh and frequent than previously. A large 6th-century synagogue with a mosaic tile floor depicting King David was discovered in Gaza. An inscription states that the floor was donated in 508-509 CE by two merchant brothers. Around 540, Gaza became the starting point for pilgrimages to the Sinai Peninsula. It was an important city in the early Christian world and many famous scholars taught at its Academy of Rhetoric, including 6th-century scholar Procopius of Gaza. The celebrated Church of St. Sergius was built in this century. Depicted in the mosaic map of Madabra of 600, Gaza was the most important political and commercial center on the southern coast of Palestine. Its northern municipal border was marked by Wadi al Heza, just before Ashkelon, and its southern boundary is unknown. But Gaza's jurisdiction did not reach Rafia. The towns of Bethali, Asali, Jerarit, and Kisafim were included in Gaza's territories. Its large representation, approximately half of which is preserved, cannot be easily explained, mainly because only small tentative excavations have been made there and because Byzantine Gaza is covered by the still-inhabited old city, Arab Caliphates. Rashid rule there were already converts to Islam among the city's Greek-speaking Christian population before Gaza's capitulation to the Muslims. At the near end of the Byzantine era, Gaza had become the home of an increasingly influential group of Arab traders from Mecca, including Umar ibn al-Khattab, who later became the second ruler of the Islamic Caliphate. Muhammad visited the city more than once before being a prophet of Islam. In 634, Gaza was besieged by the Rashidun army under General Amr ibn al-As, with assistance from Khalid ibn al-Walid. Following the Battle of Ajnadain between the Byzantine Empire and the Rashid un Caliphate in central Palestine, the Muslims' victory at Ajnadain gave them control over much of Palestine's countryside, but not the major cities with garrisons such as Gaza. With Umar succeeding Abu Bakr as Caliph, the Rashidun forces began to make stronger efforts at conquering Byzantine territory. During the three-year siege of Gaza, the city's Jewish community fought alongside the Byzantine garrison. In the summer of 637, Am's forces broke the siege and captured Gaza, killing its Byzantine garrison, but not attacking its inhabitants. Am's victory is attributed to a combination of Arab strategy, Byzantine weakness, and the influence of Gaza's Arab residents believed to be the site where Muhammad's great-grandfather Hashem ibn Abd Manif, who also lived as a merchant in Gaza, was buried. The city was not destroyed by the victorious Arab army. The arrival of the Muslim Arabs brought drastic changes to Gaza. Its churches were transformed into mosques, including the Cathedral of John the Baptist which became the Great Mosque of Gaza. Gaza's population adopted Islam as their religion relatively quick in contrast with the city's countryside. Eventually, Arabic became the official language. The Christian population was reduced to an insignificant minority and the Samaritan residents deposited their property with their high priest and fled the city east upon the Muslim conquest. Gaza was placed under the administration of Jumtfil Astan of Bailaid al-Sham province during Rashidun rule, and continued to be a part of the district under the successive caliphates of the Umayyads and Abbasids. Arab dynasties under the Umayyads Gaza served as a minor administrative center. In 672 an earthquake struck the city but there are few details of its effects. Under the caliph appointed governors, Christians and Jews were taxed, though their worship and trade continued. As noted in the writings of the bishop St. Willibald, who visited the city in 723, the year 750 saw the end of Umayyad rule in Palestine and the arrival of the Abbasids, with Gaza becoming a center for the writing of Islamic law. In 767, 
Muhammad Ibn Idris Ash Shafi'i was born in Gaza and lived his early childhood there. Al Shafi'i founded one of the prominent fiqhs of Sunni Islam, named Shafi'i after him. In 796, the city was laid waste during a civil war by the Arab tribes of the area. Gaza apparently recovered by the 9th century according to Persian geographer Istakra who wrote that merchants grew rich there, for this place was a great market for the people of the Hejaz, a Christian writer, writing in 867, described it as rich in all things. Gaza's port, however, occasionally succumbed to neglect under Arab rule and an overall decline in commerce followed because of infighting among Palestine's rulers and Bedouin bandits who disrupted overland trade routes towards the city. From 868 to 905 the two Lunids ruled Gaza, and around 909, the influence of the Fatimids from Egypt started to grow, leading to a slow decline of the city. The orange was introduced to the area, arriving from India in 943. In 977, the Fatimids established an agreement with the Seljuk Turks, whereby the Fatimids would control Gaza and the land south of it, including Egypt, by the 985 CE. While under Fatimid rule, the Arab geographer al mughadasi described Gaza as a large town lying on the high road to Egypt on the border of the desert. There is here a beautiful mosque, also to be seen as the monument for the Caliph Umar. The Arabic language poet, Abu Ishaq Ibrahim al-Ghazi was born in the city in 1049. Crusader and Ayyubid rule. The Crusaders wrested control of Gaza from the Fatimids in 1100. According to the chronicler William of Tyre, the Crusaders found it uninhabited and in ruins. Unable to totally refortify the hilltop on which Gaza was built, due to a lack of resources, King Baldwin III built a small castle there in 1149. The possession of Gaza completed the military encirclement of the Fatimid-held city of Ascalon to the north. After the castle's construction, Baldwin granted it and the surrounding region to the Knights Templar. He also had the Great Mosque converted into the Cathedral of St. John. In 1154, the Arab traveller al Idrisi wrote Gaza, is today very populous and in the hands of the Crusaders. William of Tyre confirms that in 1170, a civilian population was persuaded to occupy the area outside the castle and establish feeble fortifications and gates surrounding the community. That same year, King Amalric I of Jerusalem withdrew Gaza's Templars to assist him against an Egypt-based Ayyubid force led by Saladin at nearby Darim. However, Saladin evaded the Crusader force and assaulted Gaza instead, destroying the town built outside the castle's walls and killing its inhabitants after they were refused refuge in the castle, managed by Miles of Plancy at the time. Seven years later, the Templars prepared for another defense of Gaza against Saladin, but this time his forces fell on Ascalon. In 1187, following Ascalon's capitulation, the Templars surrendered Gaza in return for the release of their master Gerard of Ridefoot. Saladin then ordered the destruction of the city's fortifications in 1191. A year later, after recapturing it, Richard the Lionheart apparently refortified the city, but the walls were dismantled as a result of the Treaty of Ramla agreed upon months later in 1193. According to geographer Abu al fida Gaza was a medium-sized city, possessing gardens and a seashore in the early 13th century. The Ayyubids constructed the Shuria neighborhood, the first extension of Gaza beyond the old city.